Ja, fish. Good job, man. Big fish? Ja. Welcome back to Perch Mayhem. Ja, fish. Ja, hang on. Ja, big one. So far, we've seen some really impressive performances from the teams. Loads of big perch, including a fish over three kilograms. Oh my God! <laughs> Fucking hell! With some of the best anglers in the world fishing for the biggest fish in the world, the EFL is so exciting to witness. Rapala have set the world alight in the first session with a full card of four absolute monsters for an incredible 201 centimeters. Abu Garcia are close behind and we know how dangerous these boys can be. 190 on the board with two over 50 already. That's an average over 50. CVC and Westin are on fish but need bigger ones and Paul Shimano are struggling to find both their tactics and the fish so far and have yet to catch. Yeah, the signals are definitely there. Yep. Big ones. Yeah. So it needs to happen this afternoon. Now we're going to take them. Yep. Now we're going to crush Arend. Yeah. Like. Upgrade to 49 centimeters, yeah. It yeah. sounds a bit stupid, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's hard to make plans on catching a fish over 50, but uh, we're going to try our best, you know. First cast after lunch. Freddy? Yeah? Today is, uh, this episode is yours, huh? Yeah. You get the next episode, please. <laughs> yeah. I will do my best. I know. Just joking. As long as we get it, it's fine. Yeah. I don't mind taking this heavy task of <laughs> catching the big ones. <laughs> There we go, there we go. Nice. Big fish, big fish, big fish. Off, off, off. That was a 50. Just off. Why? That was a 50. Did you, ah. see, did you see how heavy that was? Yes. The bend in the rod didn't lie. Fucking hell. That was a 50. Super heavy fish. They're Super here, heavy fish. Here. Ah, one here, one there. Yeah. But the tactic works that we do. The tactic works. That's for sure. But you know how, how rare it happens that you lose a fish on a sea rack? When, they, when the hook is in, it's in normally. Yeah, normally it is. I had super pressure on the fish. Uh, uh, I saw it. it can happen. Ah, oh, that was the one that we saw. Yeah. Can go. Ah. Oh. Would have been a nice upgrade. Yeah. Good job, yeah, good job, good job. Good job, big one. Yeah. If this is a perch, then it's a big one. Yeah. If this is a perch, I tell you. Super. Great stuff. I mean, I, I lost the fish and you got him. Perfect. It's a good fish, definitely. I hope it's not a zander, because it feels heavy. It can also be a zander. We will see. But if this is a perch, then we are back in the game. Back in business. <laughs> back in business. Birch, 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 birch. Come here. Oh. Still come. It's coming, Timmer. It's coming. It's coming, it's coming. It's number. Mambo number five. Yes. Mambo number three. Number four. <laughs> Mambo number four. Ooh. Ooh. Number four. What Find a relief. relief. I mean, I lost the fish. A good strike. And then finally, this is also very close to 50. And by the way, guys, hi, we are back. It's the second episode. And uh, we changed the water. Yeah. Uh, and it's the afternoon of, uh, of that, and we have still a lot of hours to go. And let's try to uh, measure this big bugger here. Oh, and man. after that, we will um, start to uh, upgrade. 47. 47 and a bit. 47. 47. Okay. Oh, what a relief. Look at this, what a nice bird, guys. <whistles> Carolina Rig with the Creek Row and my W10. My W10 rod brings always luck. I'm very, very happy. Very happy with a full cart. It's always a, a lot of uh, tension and a lot of stress to have this full cart, but now we have it. A full cart indeed. With this fish, they take third place. Now it's the chase to catch Abu and Rapala. For Shimano though, the pressure is on. Yeah, they are already there. 
Yeah. Let's fish this area. We are both going now for a more finesse technique, slow presentation. I think you have also creature bait on it. Yep. Me too. I'm fishing Carolina rig style. You have still the net rig now on. Yes. So let's hope they get it. Now, like I explained before in the first episode of EFL, we're the fishing with the Yase rods, the whole EFL competition, because uh, we made rods specifically made for perch, also for Zander and also for Pike. And now I'm switching to the perch rod, the versatile one, which has a really fast action. And due to the high power X construction, and there is no twist, so you can cast really far and that accurate. I'm a developer of the whole rod series. Um, I'm really proud of it. I really, I really like the real appearance of it. The silver color, um, the open reel seat on this one. Um, and just plain and neat and simple, just the way I like it. Now I'm gonna start fishing again instead of talking. <laughs> Difficult to reload now. Oh, to yeah, yeah, it's super difficult. Yeah, all this tension re fell re off. Like yeah, yeah, it's you, you feel it completely empty afterwards, you know. Actually, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's no good television. No, and you're not fishing good either because you're turning the switch off. So this is a mental game because you know we're there. You know the fish are there. There is. It feels good. It feels super good. If it's the right species. No, it's probably like a pike. pike. Yeah. Are you ready with the net? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was born ready. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, yeah, it's a good pike. <laughs> it's a good pike. This is almost the size we need in perch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let her go back so she can be ready for multi-species day. I, I doubt that the perch will be in that area then. Yeah. This size spike is... Yeah, they, they intend to have some meals. And I got some pike knuckles. And that's not good for perch fishing, that's bad luck. We need to wash it off. They're not jumping up in the boat today. Oh no. Gotta rub the pike base. <laughs> mm? Gotta rub the pike base. Oh, yeah. Snicked. Took it in a second time. I don't know what it is. Sender. Yeah. <laughs> On the piglet shed again. But we need them tomorrow, not today. Off she goes. You know what it feels like? Huh? When the sander comes into a spot, yeah. the biggest perch, they move away. The medium-sized perch stick around, like 40s, 42s, 45s. I don't know, I got a, I got a hunch. And what hunch? Yeah, that uh, there's something with a current going on. The wind has turned. It's pushing way more water in this canal. The sander is more active. Maybe it's... The coin has been turned. Yeah. Now the zender again. What's wrong with the zenders? I told you they're here. I'm happy with the fish. Even though it's the wrong species. So when you want to go for Zender, bring Piglet Shed.
Yeah, as the temperatures are really changing at the moment, like going up and down, crazy. The fish is also migrating very quickly from the shallow, more to the deep, especially when it gets really cold. That's why we have a little bit more difficulties to catch them. The training was a bit different. So um, yeah, just it's, uh, it's a matter of following them right now. Fishing deep, fishing the shallow, fishing the edges. 10 minutes of sunlight can already make a huge difference eh, yeah. for the fields. Exactly. I mean, it's all quite light sand bottom here. So water warms up really quickly, also on the shallows. If the sun comes through for half an hour, then it can already be on fire more on the shallows. Yeah. So fast it can go. Yeah, true. There we go, big fish, big fish. You are the man. You are the man. Oh, big upgrade. 100%. 50. Yes. Yes! Yes, <laughs> yes man, finally. Oh, it was so difficult. And there we are. <laughs> We knew, we knew it was here. We knew it. Oh man, look at this. Another pizza <laughs> and the claw came out. Oh. Uh, might be close to 50. What a relief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this little crawl saves the day. Oh. 40 at eight and a half. So much work. <laughs> Guys, you don't know how difficult it is right now. It's incredibly cold and uh, every bite really matters. And this beautiful fish makes me really, really happy. Let's put that beautiful bird back. Nice, man. Oh, Finally, so I saw that rod bent and I thought, oh, yeah, that took a while. That's a great fish for Abu, leaving them just four centimeters shy of leading team Rapala. Okay, next, uh, next spot if you're if, if you're in it. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mark your I car. wait. I wait for you. Make no mistake, fishing on these waters is far from easy. Everything needs to be correct. Microlocation and paying attention to water color can be the difference between success and failure. You are fishing now. I don't fish with the Carolina rig now because this is a sandy bottom. Yeah. And uh, for Carolina rig, uh, like uh, stony bottom and muscle muscle bottom but uh, not the sand bottom. This is more sand bottom. And uh, I think the fish are more cruising around here. And uh, it's just a matter of this covering is, a lot of water this here. This is exactly what they are doing, cruising. This spot is for a long time productive. I mean, like 15, 20 years ago, we already yeah. caught fish here on this spot and it stays a good spot. So let's hope it works out for us. Not so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our best spot. That's competition fishing, huh? Somebody yeah. catches good, you get followers. No. Yeah, fish, fish, oh, there fish, fish. is. I'm ready. Good job, Aaron. Feel good? Feel no, good? No, it's not a 50. It's a, nice, it's a nice one, but it's not a 50. Oh, it's, it's good to be back at uh, catching some perch again. Oh, it's a nice fish, it's a nice fish. Uh, good job, it's a long one. Great job, Otto. <laughs> back at them. Good job. Nice perchy. Yeah. Let's go back. It's so uh, strange. The, the knuckles has... on it, yeah. Yeah. Some. Some type of... Uh, Sometimes you get a little bit white over here. It has something to do with the water quality. I hear it. Yeah, put it back. Still a beautiful fish. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, nice. Nice bite. Another fish to keep the spirits up, but the weather is changing now. As it does here very, very quickly. And that will become a new challenge for all of the teams. When the wind and rain picks up on this massive waterway, the conditions can be absolutely brutal. 
So we just arrived at our designated jerkbait plateau. We have a full paper, but we hope to improve most of our fish with the help of these ones. I'm starting off with uh, a bold. Ebert starting off with the bold. I'm fishing it on a 35 gram spinning be uh, casting rod with a fluoro mainline and a steel leader. That helps me fish it a bit deeper and keep it down to the bottom. Ah, fish! Yeah. No! Oh. Off. Off. Perch? Yeah. Yeah. It's not our day. No, 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 no. This day did go far from expected. So oh. loaded for this day. At least we got action. Yeah. Fish, 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 fish. Big one. <laughs> Big one. You are on a roll, man. Now you... That's bigger. This is bigger. This is bigger. Or a male. Or a strong... But well, that's very strong, that strong fish here. Mother, uh... Coming here. I think it's a strong male, maybe. Yeah, because it's fighting like no, hell. No, it's big. It's big. It's big. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fucking when you're on fire, you're on fire, my friend. <laughs> oh. Took a couple of hours, but yeah, he's got it. He still got it. Look at this one. Look man. at how heavy that fish is. <laughs> <laughs> you have it? You have to grab. <laughs> oh, that's a heavy fish. It's not long. It's not long. It's not an upgrade, I think. Well, might be. Might be, yeah. One or two centimeters, maybe. <laughs> and, of course, the same little self-realistic crawl. Okay, the measure board is still wet. Oh yeah, this upgrade. That's a uh, 49. 49. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> Okay guys, this is a 49 centimeter perch and second episode of EFL. So guys, how, how heavy is that fish? If you win, you will get a couple of the baits that we caught these fish on. Write it in the comments. And uh, beautiful perch, I'm super happy. As always, an impressive performance from Simon and Freddy and they're getting ever close to that top slot. Close to the halfway stage, the scoreboard shows a quite simply incredible card. Six fish over 50 between the teams already, and almost all of the rest are high 40s. Rapala hold the lead from Abu Garcia by the smallest of margins, and both Westin and CVC have full cards too. Shimano's disastrous day continues, but with so many big fish around and two and a half hours still left on the clock, Everything could still change, and no position is safe. You guys can imagine how happy I am. These fish are just beautiful, and uh, it was a very, very strong fish, as you could see. I was really impressed by the strength, and it's just like the adrenaline just goes up. I was cold before, but now I'm really, really warm, and uh, try to catch another one. It's so much fun. Finally, finally. Whew. Has been saved. It's a very good spot here, but uh, it looks like nobody is home. Nobody here. Maybe just one big mama watching about the house. Yeah, yeah, she's home. She's home. She's mama home. is home. Mama is home. Carolina, unbelievable. Good fish. Oh, lose Nine. it. Lose it. This was a big one. Oh. This was a big one, I tell you. Look at this. Oh. Look, my. 
Krieg rauch. Ah. Komm. Das war, das war echt, das war ein großer Fisch, hè? Uh, das war ein großer Fisch. Luke, stay calm. People are watching you. Stay calm. That was a But this is hard because this was a big fish. Big birds. That would pain. Oh, did you see my rod bending? Jesus Christ. And it was uh, such a tiny bite. He was just holding my, my line. And I felt a little bit. Boom, it set the hook and she was on. It was a big fish. Maybe, maybe one more. Maybe. Oh, oh it it hurts so much when you really need a big fish and you lose it. Oh. oh, I'm not going to sleep tonight about this fish. I'm so switching to a twitch bait. Super nice. Look at the colors. It runs like one and a half, maybe two meters deep. Got a nice rattle. But, uh, there is. There is. There is. Pike. Pikey. Right species. Pikey. Pike. There it is. With pike. It's a pike. Nice pikey. Put it back. We need him tomorrow. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Mm. And I set the hook so nice. She, she was on. She was on. And it felt so massive. Yeah, really massive. Oh. We have a half a tank of gas left and a, and a spare tank. Half. Half tank. What? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go on the other side of the river probably. We still have some time, so for sure we are not lost. Let's start from the scratch, yeah? Yeah, he touched it once. First touch, he came up backwards. Second touch, he's pushed it. Ay 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 ay. Ah, no me gustas. And again in this area. Yeah, maybe put down the talons. No, use the remote. <laughs> Joker. Joker. We'll catch them. I think that we is hammer. Hammer and anvil. No luck. We're short of luck. We had so much <laughs> luck last year. <laughs> So what I do is uh, I make a leader from 80 centimeter. Uh, this is uh, 0.30 I use. Fluorocarbon with an offset hook size one for a six and a half centimeter creek row. And then I do a piece of 30 centimeter, a little bit thicker line fluorocarbon. And the bullet weight, in this case 10 gram, is moving over this 30 centimeter. Yeah, 
make sure the hook is just just out of the lure and in this way we have a carolina rig Super, 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 super. Da, da, da. Super, Luke, finally. Looks like a big fish again, huh? Feels good, feels good. Oh. Feels good, feels good, feels really good, feels really good, feels a real good one. Feels like a really good one. Let's have a look. Carolina rig, creek row again. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Strong fish, strong fish, strong fish. Maybe not so big upgrader, but it's an upgrader. Yes, yes, it's yes, an upgrader. yes, yes. It's bigger than 40, definitely. I think uh, 46 or so. Come on, come on, come. There are more fish. There are more fish, yeah, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Look at that. What a tank. He had the creek row completely inside. Okay, let's measure it quickly. But uh, it's an upgrade. 47? 47. 47. Exactly 47. 47. Yes? Okay. 47. An upgrade by 7 centimeters. I have no clue yeah. what uh, that means uh, in the scoreboard, but uh, I mean. Uh, Luke did it. I mean, unbelievable. Eh? <laughs> that is a huge upgrade at this stage of the day. And whilst it doesn't change their position, it does give them a bigger margin between Westin and CVC, who were getting a little too close for Westin's comfort. No change at the bottom of the table or the top, but one more 50 for Abu will really upset Rapala. This is what I like the most, cleaning my fingers. That means that I have landed the fish or caught a fish, and in that case, we did it. Perfect. What is the plan, then? What is the plan? What is the plan? You can catch that. <laughs> <laughs> Only one hour left, Freddy. Well, we have only one task to complete still. Get one more 50. <laughs> I feel like a very spoiled kid when I speak like that because we have a, a list of dream perch today, but we are just one or two centimeters uh, too short right now. One more last fish would be so cool to end this, this cool day. Oh, what a bite, I saw it on your rock. <laughs> up, 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 up. Ah, okay. It's crazy how many times it happened today, huh? Did it feel big or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just uh, lost a very big fish. Uh, took the craw. I fished it super slow. I got a super crazy hard bite. I set the hook, I was fighting the fish a while, and I just went off. And it actually happened quite often today. Uh, Normally it doesn't happen that much. You hook them and then uh, on the offset hook, I mean, they have no chance to get off. But today, yeah, it's a difficult day. Yeah, huh? if they bite so picky, as yeah, they bite picky. All the fish were really in the front today. Yeah. But that's not the last one. We get another one. Yeah. Jesus, man. Yeah. Jig? Big this, one? Yeah, this, this can be a perch. Pike? Yeah, it's a pike or a zander. No, pike. pike yeah. You want me to yeah, net it? Yeah, do it, please. <clears throat> Get out of there. Ow! Huh? 
geradeaus. Oh. It always feels like monster perch. <laughs> Shit. The mojo, it's blocked. Although it may not look it from some of the scores, these waters are far from easy and can be brutal at times. Intense battles in difficult conditions against the best anglers in the world can be tough on the mind. And keeping the spirits up all the way to the end is vital as that important bite can come at any stage. If we catch nothing, for me, it's like a normal day fishing in Poland. Yeah, but this is my worst day ever. Uh, for me, it's an average day. Like, you know, that's what we do in Poland. No, but if I look back at all the training days from the last couple of weeks, of course, there was a drop down last week because of the temperature. But still, we were managed to catch a lot of perches, sanders, small pikes. We didn't catch the really big ones. And today, completely nothing. Fish off! Good mate. Finally. Tell me it's a perch. Not sure yet. Oh, it's no, a it's damn not. bike. I will not even know. What the net done? It's a real small one. If it would be a perch, it would be a decent one. Not a perch, guys. Oh. Quickly go further to find the perch. But there is fish, we got a contact, so the motivation is sky high at the moment. Yeah, maybe they are getting active on the evening. Let's hope. Personally, for me, if I speak for myself, we put yeah, a lot of time and effort into it, and that is not, yeah, the results are not there. And that's, for me personally, disappointing. You know, it's, it's, uh, this is how the fishing is, yeah? It's all about, like, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, yeah? Yeah, it's hard to say. It looks like a perch. Yeah, it looks like a perch, I agree. Really hard signal. Only single fishes, you want to see these and then three together, then yeah. it's bingo. There's, there's one. one. There's one. And yeah, they are here in this area. Tokyo Rick. <laughs> so above the there. The Sander? No no bird. Church. You should never yeah. lose faith. No well, Tokyo Rick. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. Looks good. It, it looks, looks good. It's really good. No, it's not. It's not a fifty. But I hope it is. Nice take. Look. <laughs> Be an oh, oh maybe, maybe. Oh, it's a great fish, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's in the net. Oh. You have been working for this last <laughs> We've been working yeah, a lot for it. <laughs> we were just having a discussion about what to do the last 30 minutes, and I said, like, well, pff, I'm a bit done. I lost faith in this. We scanned this area, and it's an area which nothing happens here. There are no mussel banks, there are no plants, nothing. But the, the, the fish is there, and we saw a little mussel bank with two little singles on it, and I hammered it for like 20 casts. Yeah. In the 21st cast, <laughs> pook, there he was. <laughs> On the Tokyo rig, nice. Good but it's, job, no, really it's, not a, it's not it's a 49er. A no, no. It's a and it's a beautiful. It's fish. a beautiful fish, but it's not not big enough. You can check Super it. Super nice. No, it's a 44.
Aaron's been in the EFL right from the very beginning, firstly with Rappler, then with Akuma. He's now back in with Rappler as well. And he's got a point to prove this year. That first year, Rappler didn't do very well at all. This year, you know what? Aaron is absolutely at the top of his game. His research is incredible. His fishing is absolutely spot on. And that will be reflected in the results. He is going to prove a point. Make no mistake with that. These guys want to win and he's going to do everything that he possibly can to do that. He's a cool, calm character that will turn his hand to whatever he needs to do. But the key thing that he's done already is preparation. And as we all know, preparation can win your competitions. Go, go to the last spot, Luke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, how much time do you have? Ah, yeah, okay. 12 minutes. Yes, it's uh, and cake. Okay, you see, you came, you come to the spot, and you can, you can, you always get the fish quite quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's true. So let's. Uh, but I'm, I'm moving now. I'm moving okay. to my waypoint. And that waypoint, I know that the wind was different then. So now we're casting there, and then I was fishing like this. Cool. So, oh, come on, come on, come on. Last spot. Looks like we have uh, eight, seven minutes left. With Carolina rig, that means maximum three casts. <laughs> if you fish it well, fish it slow, it should take you a couple of minutes per cast. So good luck, Freddy. Yeah. One Thanks. more bite. Thank you. One more bite, please. Yeah. Okay. So it's over. Three hard, really extremely hard work. Wow. But, but mate, you did a fantastic job. Bring us to the right spots. And your Carolina Rick and the Creek Craw did it. So that's it. Perch day is over. But what a day it's been. We've had some of the biggest fish ever recorded, an insane amount of 50 centimeter plus fish. But at the same time, we've seen disappointment and tough times. It shows how hard both this venue and this competition can be. There's no hiding place out on the water. When you're up against the best, your performance has to be the best. Rapala win the day in an incredibly close battle by a truly narrow margin. To have a four fish card of 201 centimeters must surely be one of, if not the best perch performance in history. Deserved winners for sure. Oh. <laughs> it's so close. <laughs> oh my God. Two centimeters, but we won. <laughs> yeah. Good job. We were the first. Oh, but they did a really nice job. Yeah. Abby. Second place, Abu Garcia can be incredibly proud of their performance too. 199 is usually more than enough to win a four fish card, but today they were beaten by pure magic. Perfect. I mean, Team Rapala, I Team mean, Rapala, Arendt and, I mean, these and his guys friend, were, Jesus. These guys were flying to the moon when we were already playing with our hands <laughs> in the pocket. I mean, these guys deserve to win, no? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, but no. they didn't upgrade anything. But no, fifth. 52, 50, 50 and 49. Yeah, you two, deserve to win, I mean, two centimeter more. Westin held their third place performance with a steady score. The fish were there, but the big ones evaded them. Uh, we are on the third place. We yeah. are on the third place. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, with uh, 191 centimeter. Yes. Uh, the guys from Abu did a good job. Absolutely. Uh, with 199, that means, uh, yeah, big fish, big fish, that's, that's all. And uh, Rappala did a very good job. Uh, congrats, guys, with uh, 52, 50, 50 and 49. That's uh, cool. amazing, amazing, amazing. Lower down the table, CVC were consistent with their catches, but the day demanded 50 plus fish today to challenge for the top. While Shimano, well, they simply couldn't get to grips with anything at all and ended the day fishless. And we're on fourth. So uh, not last, but... Uh, it feels like last. Yeah, it feels like last. We'll gather our... Who's uh, f five and six? There's only five teams. Shimano. Shimano. They're not here. So... Yeah. Zero. Zero? Yeah. 
it was it was not as we wanted to be no. however it's just the first day so we still have a multi-species day yeah. and a short day and we still have a short day to go and uh, it's just a matter of getting high position on those two yeah we we definitely know now where they not are so for the short day we're definitely going to look for some <sighs> deeper spots yeah Today will be our day. Yes, sir! <laughs> yes! Ah. Okay. Nicely done, man! Okay, back in the game. Watch the anchor. Yes! yes! Fuck yes! yes! <laughs> Buff! Yes! <laughs>